Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Marley Sue about season two of Alex Ryder dropping on IMDb TV December 3rd. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. It's exciting. I mean, calm before the storm a little bit, December 3rd, season two. How are you feeling about it coming out so soon? I'm, I'm really excited. I've only seen episodes one to four. So I'm, I want to see it. Like, I just spoke to someone a minute ago, one of the journalists who was like, they've seen all, all eight. And I was like, what's it like? Because I i don't know. I have no idea what, I mean, I read it and I filmed it, but I don't, I don't know what it looks like. So I'm, I'm excited to see it. What's the mindset like when you're going to do season two of this show? I mean, like, you know, people know the books and everything. Like, I'm just curious what your mindset is right before you're starting to shoot season two, Marley. I mean, I was, I was so raring to go because we also had, we obviously had lockdown. So like everything kind of got pushed a bit and um, I was just dying to get back to work. And I was, I was so excited to work with that same team again. And it's the first time I've ever done a reoccurring character in a reoccurring series. So I was, I'm, it's, it's a totally different experience to build on a character over a, a longer amount of time so um I, I was just like please can I have a script please can I have a script <laughs> I want to know what's going to happen so I, I was really excited to get back into it absolutely there's a lot to love about the show there's so much happening in the show in your opinion based on what you saw with the reception you know of the first season and you know the trailers for the second season what do you think is hitting stride in your opinion with Alex Ryder the audience like what do you think they like about it, your opinion I'm curious to see your input on that I think um I think it's it's really fast, exciting, um, suspenseful writing and 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 like filming the whole the whole series. I think they filmed beautifully as well. And I think at the heart of it is just a really relatable um, young guy who like is kind of thrown into these like insane situations, and yet he outsmarts most of his adult counterparts and 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 survives and 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 does it with a lot of skill and a lot of fun and a lot of humor and i think yep. um it's just an exciting and very re- and a character that everyone loves to watch it's interesting what i got from your answer just now too when you were talking about like kind of the elements of the show um one can make an argument there's a lot of genres there's a lot of happening in alex Ryder. did you notice that it was a little bit of like a genre bending project when you signed up for it as well there's a lot thrown in there I mean, it's, it's hard to know, to be honest, because when you read it on a script, you picture it a certain way, and then when you see it, it's always it's always slightly different. So I think from reading it, I just saw it as, like, fairly, like, I thought it was very, um, it was quite planted in realism. Like, it, it yep. didn't feel too fantastical. It feels very, like, human relationships, and, like, um, even though it's fantastical events, it's, it's very, um, it seems very real in the way it's written, and it, and um, the way they film series one, I, I could tell for that, for going into series two, that yep. it's filmed in quite a dark and... and um, it's quite a cool tone. So like, I know series one had elements of horror and thriller. Series two, is, it carries on that kind of thriller, suspense, world, goes a bit darker, but it's also, it's, it's really, I think, action series two. So yeah, it does cross a few different genres. Oh, absolutely. Marley Sue is a storyteller. That's what you do. You're a storyteller, whether it's the acting, whether people act, write, direct, perform music, that's storytelling. What excites you about being a storyteller? Oh my god, it's the best job in the world. I mean, it's it's it really if you're if you get to do it and and um get to get paid to do it because that's the hard part. Everyone, I think everyone in their hearts has um the ability to be a storyteller. It's like a very natural human thing that we're all born with. I think, but it's it's just very hard to like make a living out of it. But I think if you get to it's 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 such a great job because it's it's just like you get to the the heart of being alive, telling stories. You get to yep. like constantly question um people and relationships and why people do what they do and um and that's just such an interesting job to constantly get to also step into the shoes of other people and and understand them and and empathize with them and I think that's the part that I love the most is these incredible people that you get to experience through this job and to kind of add to that with looking at Alex Ryder you said it I mean just eye candy right like it looks so good when people get to watch it um they're saying we're in like the golden age of of, of content uh and story storytelling right now that's what they're saying um is there a reason in your opinion that stands out throughout the others that 
why we're in the golden age of, of content right now? Is it is it how things are looking? Is it the stories? Is it the global access? Like, what do you think about that, Marley? Wow, oh, good question. I think we have a little bit of everything of what you just okay. said. We have the platforms to have more stories now. And then from that, and you've got more people coming forward with like, with new voices and new ideas. And then when it's, when you make something more accessible, it's going to be more exciting and there's going to be a higher quality. And and then the sheer um, quantity of that means, I think it pushes and challenges people to step up their game each time because you've got such brilliant stuff coming out. It means everyone's sort of stepping up. And um, I think, it, I think it's a little bit of everything you've said that now people know, also just everyone knowing like you, you can, like there's space now for more stories. Like it, just makes more people go okay I can do that and come forward and have a new script or a new idea and, and getting getting it told in a different way because people have watched such an amount of stories over the years and, and seen from all over the world the way that different countries tell stories like that's all influencing each other too I think. What 100% and I find it really interesting too because you look at Alex Ryder you know very popular book series like huge um, and I feel like there's always going to be like pressure when you sign on to a project that's an adapted project because it's based on something and everything, but I'm sure the excitement overpowers the nerves in terms of like being able to work on Alex Ryder, right? Like I'm curious what that was like for you as well. Do you know what I mean by that? Like there's going to be a little bit of nerves, I'm sure, because it's such an amazing iconic series of books and then putting it to the screen, but I'm sure all the excitement overtakes a little bit. Yeah, and I think any nerves of like, especially because Kyra's not in the book, so I was a little bit worried about yeah. what I would think of her. But I think what you do in that, you zoom in, like in in the reality of when you actually go to work and do it, you just zoom into like this is this person and this. I'm just I'm just playing her and servicing her story, and I, I just think about Kyra, and not think about the bigger world and the fans and the scheme, because that's to do your job. You need to just think about like the thing that's in front of you, and and not too much of the 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 hype, I guess, because you can't control that and and to be honest as well like I think my favorite thing to do is adapted books into tv shows or films is so fun because you've got so much detail and you've yep. got a whole world there so it's also exciting as an actor to have so many resources to go to when you're approaching a character or like yeah when you know there's a whole world that people already love that's that is just really exciting. But that was my next, it's, it's like you knew what I was going to ask because that was my next question because, yeah, the character is not in the books, right? Mm -hmm. um, so preparation-wise, um, obviously you can go look at maybe other characters and look at it. Like, what what's that like preparation? Yeah, because like your character is not in the books. So I'm just like, what was the preparation like for you? Yeah, yeah, that that is tricky and easier. And, and you can look at it either way because it means I've got more freedom because she's, she's yeah. Yeah, she's kind of guys for its creation and 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 therefore and he was when I talked to him he told me some references of characters like he kind of thought of but there was a lot of room for me to run with it but I think in script you go to the script as a starting point and she's quite clearly got an identity from the way she's written and she's very consistent in the way she speaks so there's a clear picture of who she was straight away from the script and then from there I guess you just take um elements from like uh, people around me like I, I I take quite a lot of inspiration from my big sister for Kyra because I think they've got similar personality traits and then and also other departments like costume and hair and makeup they all help create this look and this image and then as soon as you like the way Kyra dresses really helps as soon as you put on those clothes they were like this is very clear yeah. how, she, how she walks and why she picks to dress like this absolutely Marley thank you so much for coming on pop turn to chat about season two of Alex Ryder I really appreciate your time uh, thank you for having me. It's been lovely to meet you. December 3rd, it's dropping. And uh, very quickly, where can people follow you on social media to keep up to date with everything? Instagram? Yeah, I've got Instagram. Amazing. This has been Pop Turnative. Be sure to check season two of Alex Ryder dropping December 3rd. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Poptternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.